Good morning, Alice. I'm here at CMEX. Some people call it the Davenport Sand Mine. The fourth graders and I are going to learn about some sand. Come on, let's go see what they do here. The first step in visiting a working mine is gearing up. That means putting on safety jackets and American flag hard hats. After that, we loaded up in a huge trailer and explored every nook and cranny of the mine. Way in the back of the mine, they have a huge sand dredge that sucks up sand and pumps it into the sand plant. See that big thing behind me? That's called the sand plant. It separates the rocks from the sand to make the smoothest sand possible. The sand plant can make 15 different kinds of sand. Then it dumps the sort of sand into huge piles. Next up are the gigantic loaders. They take huge buckets of sand from the towering piles, then load up the huge semi-dump trucks waiting in line. Wow, look at all that sand. We all got to stand right next to one of the massive loaders and take a picture. Say cheese. After these trucks are loaded with 22 tons of sand, they're weighed on these huge scales. Then the truck takes the sand where it needs to go. This is the research lab where they test all the sand to make it DOT approved. Glenn Jordan showed us how they test the sand to make sure it is good enough to sell. Sand is used to make a ton of different things, like concrete for our buildings and bridges, asphalt for our roads we drive on, bricks and pavers for our houses and landscaping, and also glass for our windows and houses. Testing the sand is very important. If the sand is bad, then our roads, bridges, and buildings will fall apart. We had a great time at the sand mine. And guess what? We even got to follow a truck carrying sand home. Hey, Skelly, what do, what do witches put on their bagels? Scream cheese. That's not funny? Fine, you'll love this one. This one's about you. How do you make a skeleton laugh? You tickle its funny bone. High five. The after school dance group has been practicing a routine. 29 of us, including me, got to represent Lofman in the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Parade in Haines City. I had fun at the parade, but best of all, we won first place for the best marching unit. We won, we won, we won, oh yeah, oh yeah. Hey Owls, it's October, that means it's Dental Hygiene Month. Do you know what can happen if you don't brush your teeth? You can get gum disease, tooth, tooth decay, and bad breath. Cavities are holes in your teeth. They can cause toothaches and you might have to get your tooth removed. Gum disease can cause your gums to bleed and carries germs. Bad breath can really stink. 50% of Americans have bad breath. That means they don't take care of their teeth. And if you don't take care of your teeth, you have to get them removed. And if you get all your teeth removed, you have to get dentures or false teeth just to eat. So take care of your teeth, owls, and eat healthy foods. Buenos dias, me llamo Jensen, and I'm reporting from Mexico City, Mexico. Mexico is located in North America, south of the United States, right under California. And their flag is green, white, and red with an eagle in the white strip. Mexico City is the capital of Mexico. And some things you can see in Mexico are the Great Pyramid of Tenochtitlan, the Basilica of Our Lady of Guadalupe, the Chichen Itza Pyramid, and the Cenotes, which are underwater caverns. They have some amazing foods in Mexico, like tacos El Pastor, rice, nachos, tortillas, and chili peppers. All this food talk is making me hungry. Adios.